Hello everyone, welcome to Blue Ragnarok. I'm here today again to give you guys another preview of our server. So I was talking to a couple of my friends recently and they told me it would be very interesting if I incorporate some of the new world monsters into our world. And I thought that was a pretty interesting idea. But I like to take things to the very extreme. And um, I was looking around the uh, our world, the mid earth world, and I realized there's a lot of good maps that do not have MVPs. And I figured, why not use some of the sprites from the newer world and make up MVPs in our world? And that's exactly what I done. And uh, today, I'm gonna give you a preview of one of these MVPs that I've been working on. And truthfully, this MVP is really difficult. I designed him to be just as strong as Ardos. His attack, his HP, is pretty much similar to that of Ardos. And let me spawn him right now. So his name is Kades. A lot of you guys are going to recognize him if you do play Renewal. But if you haven't, he's going to look completely new to you. And right now I'm going to talk a little bit about Kades. So Kades spawns three mobs. Three Owl Barons, which in turn spawn two more mobs, two Owl Dukes. And I'm gonna go hide right now, and you're gonna see that. So they, he just, so the Owl Barons just spawned, spawned two Owl Dukes, and uh, now you see there's a total of nine monsters that follow him. Pretty menacing, if you ask me. Looks extremely dangerous. But um, I'm gonna give you guys a few pointers that uh, hopefully will help you beat him. So this MVP, as I said before, should be around the same level as Ardos. But uh, I realize he's a lot harder. He might as well be considered a high-end MVP. Mainly because I really gave him a lot of skills that made him insanely difficult. So a few of the skills you see already is Fire Pillar, Land Protector. Most of the skills are actually fire-based. like. Meteor Storm and Fireball, so it'll be good to have some fire armor when you're facing them. But uh, there's a couple other things that make them very difficult, and let's see if I can trigger it right now. So he also spawns another special monster, and I'm pretty much waiting for him to spawn them. You'll recognize it right away when he does spawn them, and uh, you're gonna be very surprised. Oops, alright, there we go, let me uh, play my music again, alright, let's hope for, uh, I'm waiting for him to spawn these monsters, let's see, where are you, spawn the monsters please, just spawn them, so I can demonstrate how hard you are, and uh, if you want to criticize my singing, I'm a damn good singer. There they are. As you can see, he spawns four to five bomber rings. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're fucked. I don't know how you're gonna beat him. But uh, players nowadays are pretty smart. You guys can probably figure it out somehow. Firstly, I think he's damn impossible because of it. Let's see, if we can see if I get him to spawn him again. Try to kill him. I'm gonna go for the DS. Alright. See the DS. Oh, there you go. He spawns again. Now, I have a lot of HP. But it doesn't matter. If you're within range when he spawns those bomber rings, that's instant death to you. So, be very careful of how you try to shoot him. It's not gonna be easy. Not at all. He has land protector. Summons bomber rings. Has nine owls. And on top of that, he has global science. So, best of luck to everyone. Oh yeah, one more thing before I go. This MVP is going to be located in Clock Tower. I figured that map does need an MVP. And this MVP looks perfect for it. It has a bunch of keys. You need keys to go into Clock Tower. It makes sense to me. Alright, our server is going to open around December 11th this year. So, uh, look forward to it. 
and uh, you're about to experience Ragnarok like you haven't been. You're gonna experience Ragnarok like you haven't before. And it's like fucking 2 a.m. for me. Anyways, good night everyone.